Hey there, hi there, everybody. So, got a big video here, big video. We got the six star Nexus Abyss Crystal Selector coming out right now. Uh, as you can see right up here, some of my alliance mates have already started to open up theirs. Very exciting, they got some really good pulls. Uh, and I'm really excited too, to see uh, what he got out of that. And uh, I got some rank ups coming up afterwards. So I'm just gonna go over here to the uh, selector page. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, if it pops up immediately after I hit claim or if it's something I, I go in and check out. But either which way, I think I should kind of just uh, take a sec and explain my thought process here. But if you want to skip ahead uh, over here, I've got a timestamp for when the actual crystal opening is going to be. Uh, and then if you want to skip ahead a little bit after that, then there's a timestamp uh, here for uh, a couple of the rank ups after the fact, including whoever it is I'm gonna pull out of here. So uh, that all having been said, kind of should uh, just kind of explain where I'm coming from. So it's kind of a interesting choice uh, between who I want to rank up. Let's just go take a look here with some of the champs that I got. Uh, who I wanna get and more importantly, who I'm not gonna get. So got some mute or mystic options here. Uh, most fortunately, I've got Doom and Doom Awakened. I've got Clairvoyant Unawakened, uh, probably not going to wake her up. Some of these other options that I don't have that would be nice. Uh, Mojo, because he's in basic pool now, which is great. But overall, there isn't really anybody that oomph factor. Symbio Supreme would be great too. Uh, but I'm, I'm good. And besides, I'm going to be taking my Doom up to rank three anyway. So anybody else would just be like, mm, not as exciting. Okay, skipping over to the tech section here. Uh, tech, I've got Ghost already, and I've got her Awakened. I wound up using my generic on her, and I I don't regret that. Uh, but I also have got Darkhawk, Sentinel, and Gilly99 here unawakened. Uh, I do have a tech gem to use on one of them. I'm kind of on the fence about that. Uh, and there's some other good pulls. Warlock would be fantastic, um, which is really good. It would, and it, it's a tough choice, but I, I think for tech, I'm going to have to pass because there is a lot of junk in there as well. Now, switching over to Cosmic. Cosmic is the really the one class I should be focusing on. I've been trying to wake up Captain Sparkles for ages, so that would be a good pull. Corvus would be a good pull. Uh, Venom, Venom the Duck are, are pretty solid in their own right. But it's a tough choice because at the same time, Cosmic, more so than any other class, has a lot of less than optimal choices so i really would hate to wind up going with cosmic and then just not getting the captain sparkles or a corvus and being stuck with uh somebody much less exciting so for now i'm going to wind up sitting out on on cosmic uh now let's go see what's up over over here so mutant is probably one of my stronger classes between that and skill uh, i've got sunspot and sunspot awakened i've got uh havoc and havoc awakened emma and emma awakened i've got a namor unawakened so while it would be great to pull a domino or an omega red uh or even just holding off till storm gets added i'm really well set in the mutant class already so i've got a lot of rank twos here already um sunspot's probably going to be going to rank three just for prestige so uh there isn't really anything super shiny that i, I could get out of mutant skills in much the same way i've got elsa i've got thor and i've got stealth spidey at rank three already Aegon awakening would be great as would a brand new nick fury but skill i'm just so heavy set on already it's just not it's not super exciting uh which leaves the one other class and the class that i will be going for today and that is science uh, I've got a Wasp, and I've got Captain Beardo Unawakened, but everybody else is kind of meh. Who I'm really hoping to pull, though, is the Fantastic Four or Void with Captain Beardo uh, as a solid backup. But even if I don't get any of those, there are some other really good options in here between a Hulk Ragnarok, or I'd be okay with a Luke Cage. Um, you know, there's there's good options in here. So... I'm doing something new up top here for the wish list. So top of the wish list is Thing. Uh, Thing would be fantastic for Prestige because he's a tank. 
and I think you would benefit the most from a SIG ability later on. Barring that, uh, Human Torch would be second best because he does not need to be awakened. Uh, Reed after that for Prestige and just for the synergies. Uh, after Reed is Void. I love my five star. Sue would be great as well. And the sixth choice would be a Captain Beardo Awakening. Uh, so those are my top six choices. Uh, there are a lot of uh, misses in the science pool, I am well aware, but out of all the other class pools, science is the one that has the greatest chance to pull at least one of the characters I'm looking for. So that's kind of that long-winded shtick. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Fingers crossed. All right, now I'm just going to back up over here back to the, the main menu, bring up that message again, and click through that, and here we go. So we got all the different uh, classes here. It just came up on science from the get-go. It's almost like the game knows that's what I'm going to be going for. Uh, it's probably not. It's just kind of freaky. But man, I, I really wish that they would offer this in other different places because this is such a great opportunity to get fantastic champs. Uh, pun intended, by the way. Uh, but you know, for today, like I said, my whole long-winded rambling. Uh, today is definitely going to be a science day, so I'm going to head and claim that. Awesome. That's good. That's good. All right. Nervous. Let's go over to the uh, crystal tab here. Uh, let's go see where that thing is. Let's go see where that thing is. Um, got a bunch of stuff to opening up. I got a big crystal opening that I got to do one of these days. Hopefully see what they say in a couple days time, but a bunch of stuff to open up later. But here we go. It is time to see what I get. I got the uh, the Nexus Crystal pulled up right here. These are the top options right above me. Man, these kind of six stars in general always get my, my heart racing going a pitter patter, but uh, especially today because it's so huge and there's such a, such a huge opportunity to get something awesome but here we go here we go to put this thing in the spinner let it do its little spinny animation and we are gonna get um options options okay well there's read uh fix it okay and torch okay and torch so it's just uh check that out again got some Decent options, got some not so decent options. Um, Spider Miles is new, forget Rhino. A Wasp Awakening wouldn't be awful if there was nothing else. Uh, World War II, Electro, which would be great if I didn't have one already. Reed is a tough choice because he is the best prestige play. But the thing with that is that Reed would have to be awakened at a high SIG level for that prestige, and I, I don't have that right now. Uh, Yellow Jacket Awakening, forget that. I wouldn't mind to fix it out of a basic, and that's not me being facetious. I, I wouldn't mind playing him again, but for this, for today, it's uh, it's definitely, I think it's gonna need to be Human Torch, because not as only he a great champ just out of the gate, but he doesn't need to be awakened. I can take him to rank two eventually. Uh, once I do get him awakened, um, He'll be have a decent prestige level, uh, and I don't. Uh, my five star is currently a rank four, whereas like Thing and a couple others are are maxed out as as fives. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Human Torch. Gonna go ahead and uh, claim this man right here. Awesome. Man, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. I can't believe it. Like I can't believe it, but at the same time, that's so cool. That's so cool. But, okay, so I'm just going to uh, click on over here. We're going to go bring him up. Uh, bring him up to, uh, well, as far as he can go. I can't take him to rank two today, but level him up at least, and then dive into the rank up. So, all right, let's go check it out. Okay, so here we go. Human Torch. Got a bunch of my uh, science ISO here ready to go. Unfortunately, as this guy's going to be uh, stuck here at rank one for a little bit. Gotta give me some more, uh, well, a bunch more resources, to be honest. Uh, tier five basic primarily. 
but because he is amazing unduped, uh, he is definitely on the short list now for being uh, brought up to rank 2, so that will be fun. But for now, Torch has said it. Maxed out rank 1. All right, let's go check out who's next. Okay, so next up, I've got Tigra. Tigra, I wound up winning in the arena, wound up placing uh, rank 75 out of the 150. Uh, I did a number of videos on Tigra, especially with the synergy with Elsa Bloodstone. Uh, Tigra is a solid champ in her own right, uh, especially with her evade miss mechanic, the rupture, uh, infant heavy charge, all that. Uh, so, you know, she'll be fun to play with. Uh, I've got a six star, which is awesome. Uh, but the five, I think I'm going to wind up using a bit more just because uh, she'll be awakened later on. Uh, so right now, just taking her up uh, probably to rank three, I think is as far as she's going to go. Uh, but again, you know, solid champ, uh, even better synergy with Elsa. Uh, it's kind of Elsa's killer app. Uh, makes her debuffs last for longer, so you can wind up getting the uh, incinerates lasting longer and the damage multipliers lasting longer uh, and just wind up melting people. So uh, to have a tiger ranked up at an adequate level to bring along, it's going to be super helpful, super useful. Uh, again, if for nothing else, then just for the synergy, but then she can kind of stand on her own as well. So that's some that ISO going. I'm just going to be burning some uh, Mystic here specifically, just save on some gold, anticipate some big rank ups coming up soon too. Oh, uh, okay, so I forgot that I've got that three to four Mystic Stone. So I was planning to take her, keeping her at rank three, but I uh, may as well, may as well do this as, just to uh, for a little bit extra umph, get some more ISO, get that going, take her up. Select some of this random stuff here. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Where is she at? Where is she at? There she is. Cool. So, go ahead and finish her off. Uh, and there we go. Got a Tigra at a, uh, a rank four. So, uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. There we go. Now she's set. Uh, rank four, level 55, Tigra. Cheers, welcome to the squad. Hey there, hi there everybody. So, got a really interesting rank up video here today. Uh, it's time for me to take another six star up to rank two. Now, real quick, this is kind of where I'm sitting at in terms of six stars. I've got an amazing array. I've been very fortunate and very blessed and very lucky to have pulled some uh, really amazing, fantastic champs. So I got, you know, the slew here at six star rank three. Elsa is one of my favorites. Uh, I've got some truly OP god tier rank twos. And then I've got my queue of rank ones that I'm looking to take up to rank two. So among them, Black Widow, who is amazing even unawakened. Hitmonkey, who's really grown on me in the short time that I've had him. Uh, Aegon eventually is going to be coming up. Uh, Captain America Infinity War is also going to be coming up. And uh, these guys can just chill for right now. So, I mean, really, between those three, between Beardo, Aegon, four, I should say, Hitmonkey, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Dark Hawk is fantastic. He's going to be going up eventually, uh, as is Sentinel. So, a lot, a lot, a lot of good options. But today, I'm not going to be ranking up any of those. Um, what I have noticed here amongst the six star rank threes and rank twos is that I only have one cosmic champion at rank two. Now, my current roster of cosmic champs uh, is pretty par, pretty par, you know, not bad, not great, but not bad. And you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of champions left to get still too, but I need me a cosmic champion. So I gave it a good think, a good think, and uh, today I'm going to be ranking up Heimdall. Heimdall, that's such a strange choice. Why are you choosing Heimdall? Well, let me tell you. First and foremost is because it's cosmic. I, I do need a cosmic champ. But then most importantly is that I bring uh, Heimdall with me uh, to just about everything. To regular monthly quests, he was a big help in Act Six. 
um, you know, I, I, he was, uh, he even went with me into the first couple paths of Abyss, too, so, uh, Heimdall is extremely useful by himself. And then I also kind of figure that if he's going to be with me on my roster, I may as well have a Heimdall that can actually pull his own weight as opposed to just being a synergy mule. So I've got the five star as well, and that's nice and good and well and all that. But he's sitting at rank three right now, so I'd have to burn a lot of resources in order to get him up to rank five. But in the meantime, I also have the six star. Six star awakened with another natural dupe on top of that. So I've, I'm pretty good in the, the Heimdall department. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about taking this, this dude up, seeing what he can do as a rank two. Uh, and then also you have another champion who I have on my roster already. Uh, be able to pack a little bit bigger punch. So cheers, Heimdall. Welcome to rank two. Yeah. All right. So I need to go sell some of this ISO here real quick and then bring up some cosmic ISO. Uh, the gold crunch is real. And I do still have another, another couple big rank ups on the, the horizon. Mostly the champs that I went over already. And I'm going to need every penny I can get for those guys. Upgrade. Awesome. Cool deal. There we go. And at ring two, he is going to stay. But let us go check this guy out. That's my uh, William Shatner impression right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm liking those uh, those attack values. That health definitely is going to come in handy.